Hi, my name's Will. Welcome to the Glenwood Makerspace. Here at Glenwood, we have two brand new MakerBot 3D printers, which combine cutting edge technology and an easy to use interface, and are the next step in artistic expression. With these, you can print off original designs from Tinkercad, or fully fledged minifigures and anything you could possibly imagine off of Thingiverse. These are only limited by your imagination. First things first, today we have to find an object we'd like to print. For this particular project, we'll be going to Thingiverse.com. Thingiverse is a wonderful website that has many pre-made 3D print designs ready and available. But today we're going to be using one of the keywords which is articulated, meaning an object that moves, and in addition to that we'll be using the word butterfly. We'll be using the first design to pop up. Go ahead now and click on the Download All Files button, wait your 5 seconds for the file to be successfully downloaded in the app to play, and then you'll see the file jump and save to the home screen. Just like that. Once the file's downloaded, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the screen, where you'll see a summary of the project you're going to be printing. This is where you'll find all sorts of print settings, such as whether or not a certain build needs rafts or supports. We here at the HCLS always recommend using supports, but they can be turned off and we'll go over that later. Up next, go ahead and open up the MakerBot app down at the bottom of the screen. It will be the M inside of the black circle. If the password and login have not been saved, please see a librarian for assistance. What you'll see in front of you after logging in is, is the build plate. In order to move the build plate around, simply press and hold with two fingers on the trackpad and push them either up, down, or side to side. Import your file. You can do this by clicking File, Insert File, or by clicking the folder icon at the top left and clicking the red plus Add Models button. Find your .stl or .obj file, then click OK. That's all we need to do here. Now with the design successfully imported, we need to go ahead and add a printer to the MakerBot Print app. On the bottom right of the screen, you will see, you will see the words, select a printer. There are two to choose from, Metis Method X or Athena Method X. Metis is our printer on the left, Athena is on the right. Verify that there is no one using the printer, then click select for that printer. Once you are finished selecting a printer, you can click anywhere on the workspace to hide this panel. For this demo, we'll be selecting the Athena printer. Once the app processes and opens your file, Use the MakerBot app to set your model up for printing. It may need to be resized or oriented differently in order to print. If there's a flat section of your design, that will probably need to be lined up with the base plate in the workspace. As you can see, a little small square as well as a red outline have appeared in front of you. The red outline symbolizes that your print is currently too big and must be resized. To the right of your project, you will see a small square box located here. This is where the MakerBot printer will offload any excess material it produces while printing out your project. In this way, your design will stay clean and clear of any excess. In order to have a more manageable sized project, we need to scale it down a bit. To do this, select the bottom icon on the left tool or on the right hand toolbar. The dimensions X length, Y width, and Z height will appear in millimeters. In the scale menu, you can change the size of your model. Make sure that uniform scaling is checked if you want to maintain the proportions of your model. Type in the percent change or the desired dimensions of one side to have the app resize your model. And there you have it.
To move your design around on the base plate, simply click down with one finger, hold, and adjust accordingly. Right above the scale icon is the orient icon. This allows you to flip and rotate your design on whichever axis you desire. We recommend having the flattest part of your project be the base of your print. This way, you will minimize both the time and the amount of support material you need while printing. For example, orienting the butterfly in an upright position will cause you to almost triple your time as well as double the money that it will cost to produce since you'll need so much support material in order to keep it straight up and from collapsing while the, while the printing process occurs. So the correct way to print this particular object is flat as seen here. Two icons up from there, you'll find the print settings icon. This is where you'll find all the ways to either one, delete the wraps from being used, which again, we do not recommend, or two, deleting the support material from being used in this particular build. HCLS recommends wraps for all prints. The MakerBot will add wraps as a default. Wraps will give your model the best base print quality and allows your model an adequate surface area for adhesion to the build plate. Supports are also automatically turned on. Having supports turned on is necessary if you have any overhangs. If you would like any further guidance on whether or not your particular build needs either a raft or supports, please see either a customer service representative or the Makerspace instructor for help. Click the Estimates and Print Preview button to see how long your project will take and how much filament it will use. Contact a member of staff in order to proceed. Each printer has a different color filament installed as well. Please contact a staff member if you would like a different color filament for your object. This particular model needs roughly 19 grams of material to be printed and will take about two hours. To return to edit your model, you need to click the model view icon located right above the print estimates and preview button. At this point, once everything's all said and done, you can go down to the bottom right of the screen where you added your printer and simply hit the print button. Once again, please make sure that the print plate is clear before printing and that no one else is using this particular machine. I had to wait a little bit so that one of my coworkers could finish cleaning it so that it was ready to go for all of you. If there is not enough time or if the printers are both in use, you can save your file to a USB for future printing. As you can see here, our build plate is clear as we started to print. Prints do take a long time, so please manage your time accordingly. Once your print has been completed, go ahead and contact a staff member to remove the model from the printing. If you had to print with supports, these supports are water soluble, and if you immerse your print overnight, the support structures will be seen. Thank you so very much for watching this instructional video. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free staff member or email us at askhcls at hclibrary.org. Hope to see you soon.